Hello everyone, my name is David. I'm glad to be here hosting the uh, live broadcast worldwide. So a quick, inter a quick in introduction about myself. Uh, I'm actually a Canadian citizen, so now residing in China. And uh, graduated from University of Waterloo. I've been spending my 11 years in Canada and six years in Boston. And uh, now returning to China for about four and a half years. So my last uh, 10 and a half years were uh, doing a lot of series of startups uh, as well as angel investments. So I'm really happy here to do the uh, intro of uh, Banyan Network. We are big data AI ecosystem. Uh, and also I want to share a little surprise with you guys uh, during the presentation. So it's going to be a big news that I know you guys have been expecting for quite a while. So let's start with the pain points. So why Banyan Network? What are we solving here, right? So you can see the data silos is actually a very clear problem in, in every industry. There are a lot of large companies that has tons of data, but the data are isolated. And those data are only stay within their organization. And there's no link or flow of data between these large companies. And while well, there's a little value, right? So how are we gonna solve it? We call it the world's first data fusion value chain network. We call it DVN. So let me walk you through the four important processes in DVN. So the first is we call it data collection. So in this process, we're designing a gateway to allow data to come in, to flow in. So once we have our gateway ready, which we'll be able to connect with the data providers. So we're gonna connect data with a lot of these large companies. Also, we can gather data from the crawlers. So this is the first process of DV. After we gather all this data, the next step, we call it data governance. In here, there are two important steps. One is the data cleaning process, right? So as an example, if we gather a lot of phone numbers, right? Imagine those phone numbers have different country code and area code and they have brackets, right? So once we collect all these phone numbers, it's gonna be in various formats and that requires a lot of cleaning, right? Tagging, well, that's really easy to understand. We're gonna build a user profile. So if this user comes in, we can give them some tags. For example, does this person have a family? Does it have a house, have a car? So all of these are tagging. So that's really easy to understand under data governance. And here is the most important process. We call it data fusion. And we're using ID mapping technology to fuse data. So let me explain what it means by ID mapping. <laughs> um, so if you have uh, two different, uh, uh, like, let, let me give you an example of Amazon and a telecom service provider. So if you sign up for Amazon, you're asked to fill in your email addresses. And if you are uh, having a cell phone, then of course you're opt-in into the um, telecom service, which uh, your ID is a cell phone. So imagine you have email and you have a cell phone. How do we know you're the one person? How do we know who you are, right? So in order to get data fused, we need to be able to match the IDs. So we know that you're from Amazon with email address ID, and you're with a telecom with a cell phone ID, but we know this is you. So this is the ID mapping technology to build a more complete profile or a rounded profile of you, of a user. And final process is data service. So after we have built our DVN, we can have services for our customers who are needing of this, um, like getting a result. Uh, we're not selling data. We're giving, using artificial intelligence and build a model to serve our customer. So I'll briefly mention multi-trust connector and the different applications in different industries. So let me first go through multi-trust connector. As you can see, this is actually a very complicated backend design, but to, for you guys, I wanna make it simple. It's third-party authorization and a confirmation application. So as of last month, we have gotten a demo of our multi-trust connector uh, ready to serve our potential customers. 
And over the next six months, by the end of the year, we are actually in a stage we call a piloting to continuous refinement of our beta product of multi-trust connector. And I know a lot of people have asked for this, is give us some like scenarios and applications of how to use DVN. So, well, here's a very simple diagram. I wanna walk through some examples of different applications, right? So actually, you know, this is three different industries, but they're looking for the same thing. They're looking for potential leads, right? For example, automotive, Mercedes-Benz, they're looking for who can afford and buy Mercedes. Well, banks are looking for who can open credit cards with them. Well, with insurance as well, who can buy the right insurance? So within our DVN, we just need two different data sources to solve their pain, to serve their needs. Well, for example, let me go back to Mercedes as an example. Right? And DVN, the two data sources that we need, one, is from financial industry. And the second is from the telecom uh, service provider. If we can have these two uh, big data sources, we can solve Mercedes-Benz problem. Let's, let, let me show you how, right? So with the financial uh, uh, data, we can actually analyze whether this person can afford Mercedes-Benz based on his past uh, credit history, past expenditure, can he afford a house, afford a car? So through all these financial data, we know how wealthy this person is, or can this person afford Mercedes-Benz? And the second data source from telecom service provider, uh, the telecom actually can, um, has a user behavior uh, captured and tracked. So they actually know what are you actually uh, looking for? What are you browsing? What are you searching? What brand of car are you actually, uh, the keywords you actually input? So they have all this information, right? So we can look for all these people who are looking for high-end cars based on the telecom uh, data. And by fusing these two data, we can have very accurate, what we call it precision marketing, very precise leads for the automotive industry, such as Mercedes-Benz, right? So the next thing you'll be really curious about is data privacy, right? So you feel that your data is being used. So this is something I really want to clarify here. First of all, the data that you have um, that's, that's been uh, using your data is because you have opt-in into certain applications, such as signing up on Amazon using Google service, right? Whatever that you're using, even you know Facebook, right? So you are actually opting in into their uh, little long agreements Right? And within their loan agreements, there is a paragraph saying, well, we will be tracking your information. So you're actually opting in in all the applications you're using. So they have uh, ways to use your data. Right? So what I want to mention is that we are actually following uh, GDPR. So this is a European standard. And now every part of the country is looking, following the same rules of GDPR because this is clearly stating that it needs to protect user privacy, right? And users need to opt in. So we cannot just use a uh, user's data. Like, you know, we have to opt in. And user has the ability to opt out at any time. He can also request a deletion of the, the user data and also can ask for a copy of user data. So this is all part of GDPR. Now, the cool thing is, right, we're actually rewarding our Banyan members with BBN if you actually opt in into our Banyan network member. So in the future, imagine that your data is being used like before, but now you're being rewarded with BBN. So every time you allow your data to be used, you will be rewarded. So that's why we wanted you to have, um, well, actually wanting you to become a Banyan member. So you will control your own data and privacy. A lot of people have asked about our economic model is how does BBN flow in and flow out? So here is a really simple uh, explanation of how it flow in is because customers were the data uh, customers uh, purchase BBN, they, they buy it BBN from us. 
and those VBNs will be split and distributed to our data sources, as well as all the members who participate to become our member. And another place that we give out BBN is while we're cleaning data, and this relies on the third party to clean our data, so we have to give them some reward. So it's a very simple economic model here. So here's the surprise that I wanted to show all of you. A lot of you have been waiting for this roadmap. And I do apologize that you know previous timelines wasn't really that great, but here is actually after a, a new, a new, um, a complete new roadmap till 2019. And this will cover you the four different steps that we go through the DBM and the, also the associated timeline that goes with each. Right? So in here, uh, this is actually updated on our website. So please go check our website now. We have just updated this on our website. A really key timeline here is that we are gonna be making money in September. So in September, we can provide data service for our customers, right? So these texts are really small here, so I don't wanna go into detail, but please go to our website and read all the detailed explanations. They should be very easily understandable now. And uh, quickly, of our uh, team background. So I'm here, David, Canadian, and Kelvin, uh, my partner. So Kelvin, will be doing Q&A today. So uh, he will have his uh, introduction uh, later on. And Yi Zhou, uh, he's our CTO from Caltech and Tsinghua University. And has uh, quite a few years of experience back at Oracle, as well as a serial entrepreneur. So to wrap up, I wanted to share the three theories of, the three laws of data value theory. So this theory is actually really unique and is designed by Kelvin. <laughs> First one is silent data uh, salaries devaluation. What this means is that if the data sits there, it's wasted, there's no value, that's what it means. Second, circulating data generates value. This means when data start flowing or start using this data, we're generating value, right? So nowadays you see a lot of apps, like even Amazon, right? They will give you, really rec uh, give you recommendations, like artificial intelligence algorithm to give you the right recommendations, right? So this is using data. And what's really cool is about what we're doing is fuse data promotes value add. And this was the application scenario that I gave you. We are actually using data from different sources and fuse them. And this will give you much more value, promotes value added than just circulating data. So in, in conclusion, this is our theory and here's our focus on fuse data. And this differentiates all the other competitors out there because nobody is doing fusing data. So now it's time for a QA. So I want to give you all a minute uh, to actually think about uh, questions that you have. And then Kelvin will be doing, serving the Q&A for you guys. So thank you. And take a minute to write your questions. Uh, and uh, Kelvin will be here.
Hi everybody, I'm Kelvin. It's nice to talk to you guys here. And uh, uh, I'm here to answer some of your questions. So uh, I noticed that uh, quite a few questions. Uh, let's start with the, uh, the first one. What, what's the first okay, one? So the first question is how to become a BBN member? Okay, yeah, that's a good question. Actually, we are planning a, a bounty program that's gonna uh, show up uh, in our website before end of the month and uh, we're gonna uh, give you rewards so for you to become uh, our fan and members so please keep looking at our website and it will be up soon and there's also another question about uh, uh, what, what's the time to update the roadmap right yeah roadmap yep so uh, uh, David just mentioned actually uh, it's already on our website so please take a close look at, at, at our website all right, so this seems like these are the only two questions for now. And uh, I know I have been answering a lot of questions on AMA on Reddit. So uh, if you have further questions, uh, feel free to participate in our June AMA on Reddit. Yeah, so we'll stop here today. And uh, thank you guys for participation for this live broadcast. Sounds great. All right, see you guys.